It's popping guys so crazy way to start the video but uh i just got this box in the mail and i only ordered like one thing but i don't think it was supposed to come yet so uh let's open it up and see what we got also if you guys are not yet subscribed hit that subscribe button all right so the only thing i can think it's in this box is um i ordered a chest mount and a head mount so when i'm like riding scooters and stuff like that like the other day when i did that scooter review i uh I um, didn't, it was hard to film because I didn't have nothing to film with. And then we were at skateboards and all that other stuff. That's the only thing I think that I ordered. But I didn't think it would come this early, which is kind of crazy. I almost snapped myself. I think, oh, I think they did come. I didn't know they came this quick. Holy moly. I think that's the chest mount and then that was the head mount. Let me open it up. So, yeah, I didn't know that I received this stuff today. It's just kind of crazy. It came super quick. That's definitely the head mount awesome i'm excited guys because so when i'm like taking video and stuff like that i'm gonna be able to put you guys technically on my head yeah that is it there it is so it'll be like something like this or whatever and then the phone will strap like here and everything and then and i think it's crazy i'll definitely be wearing a hat most of the time so let's see let me get a hat real quick my hair is a mess i just got out of the shower <laughs> so it'll be like that and then goes like come on something like this there it is guys so when I strap the this right here I'll have to fix that a little bit but um, this right here will mount and what's really cool about this this is this is sweet Ooh. all these pieces and parts and stuff so the camera will mount in this clampy thing that clamps so this clampy thing here, which this thing screws, that screws, yeah, you know, you guys understand. But what's cool about these things is I got this, so they're quick release. So it's quick in and out. So basically all you gotta do is just like that. And it's hooked to the, the thing. It's so cool. So let's, uh, I got something else completely planned for today, but let's switch to the, uh, the head mount. Let's go. All right, y'all, so I need to tighten the top strap, but this is, here's what it looks like from my angle, my view, when I'm walking around. If I let go of the top strap, it kind of bounces like that. Uh, once I get the top strap figured out, though, it'll be, let me see if I can get it without getting my, okay, I did. So now I'm walking in the tight strap, and it's kind of like, I don't have a key, or so I can't get in my car, but this is what I look at when I come into my car. As you guys may or may not be able to see uh, my reflection in the mirror, it looks kind of crazy. <laughs> It's uh, but it definitely works. Definitely, definitely works good. And uh, so I'm going and stuff like that. Hopefully it's pretty stable. Hopefully it's all right footage. Um, we're gonna just do the chest mount now. And uh, yeah, this is pretty cool though. I like it. All right, so that was the head mount. Now we're gonna open the chest mount up, get it all set up and uh, check it out. I enjoyed the head mount. It's uh, I definitely would be wearing a hat when I do it. Uh, when I just tried it on, I didn't have my hat on, so, um, and I definitely need to tighten the top strap so it doesn't bounce, but, um, besides that, though, we got all these pieces and parts and stuff. It looks like the same setup as the other one, which, yes, it's the same mount as the other one, which is really nice. I enjoy that mount because you just can clip it in, clip it out, uh, super quick. This right here, undo the chest strap. I've been wanting one of these though for a while also because just because um, it just makes it easier. I think it goes like this. Yeah, it goes like this, I think. I don't know how it all works out. Something like that, okay. Nope, I was wrong. <laughs> so my head has to go through here. Yeah, that's how it works. We're new at this guys. I never had a chest mount before, so. As it looks like your head would want to go through here like so okay these will go on like so it needs to get it needs to get um we need to get this uh chest mount moved around a little bit so it's not up on my neck mount <laughs> we need more of a chest so we're gonna kind of adjust it a little bit and try Ooh, come on we're getting it there guys we're getting it there so yeah okay there we go that looks a little better 
But basically, it has these same clips. So all you have to do is, is you'll take the clip here and you just snap it in place. It'll be mounted right there. This mounts there, so on, boom. And uh, your chest mount. Let's switch to the chest mount and see what it looks like. All right, so this right here is the chest mount. I gotta figure out like a good location for it. I don't know if that's a good spot for it or not. But anyways, this is what the chest mount looks like. It, uh, I don't know. I don't know how much difference this is compared to the head mount, but uh, kind of doing like the same in comparison, walk up to the car. It's not bad. I actually like this one a lot better than the head mount because the head mount kind of squeezes your head a little bit. Um, and it kind of looks more bulky. This thing, it looks more bulky as you can see here in the, the thing. It looks bulky, but um, you get like, you feel like you got more mo mobility, I don't know, with your head. And uh, yeah, I don't know. This is me walking around in the yard. It's bouncing a little bit, but you know, besides that though, there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, also I didn't say this on the other one, but these uh, clips here, they have a spot on the top. So if you wanted to, you could technically do stuff like, I had to find it. You could take like, one of these lights, screw it onto the top and uh, you would have your lighting and everything. Boom, it's pretty awesome. But for this sake, we're gonna put it on just because. It's, it's daylight out but if you're like snowboarding or something at nighttime and you wanted to like get that chest footage or whatever you know you got your light here and then you have your camera here and then you could also this one has another spot on top of this so you could actually hook a microphone to it so you could have one heck of a rig <laughs> but it's definitely really really cool but let's switch to the camera uh chest mount now so that was a quick little mail time thing. I enjoy the head mount and the chest mount. I'm definitely gonna be using those soon uh, when I go ride skateboards or um, what else? So, uh, the scooters and stuff like that. I went blank. But I'm um, getting ready to plan something else today. That was not even planned today. It just showed up. So um, yeah, quick little bonus mail time kind of thing for you guys. And uh, we're gonna be taking the RC car out. Today might be the day that it hits and hydroplanes across water. If not, it's okay. But um, also, I think we're shooting an AR-15 uh, cannon. A can cannon, I guess it is. It goes on the end of the AR-15 and uh, you put cans in it and it poof, shoots them out. I've never, I mean, I've seen people do it. I've seen it on Roman Atwood's channel before he did it. And I think a Demolition Ranch, I think they did it, stuff like that. But I've never seen one in person and I've never ever shot once. Well, maybe we'll get to shoot one today, which would be super awesome. But, uh, Enough of the mounts, enough of all that stuff, mail time stuff. And uh, let's hit the road. Two hours later. All right, guys, so now we're here. We got Thomas with us. And uh, the plan was to hydroplane across this pond here. Get away from me, bug. Anyways, this, this pond right here has a good entrance point over on that side, but there's not a really good exit point. So if you're going to come in, you might have to come in from like a corner and then go across um, over to that way. We got. A frisbee thrown at me. I don't know how. <laughs> Whatever. But anyways, we got a charging station coming on in here, so I'll take you in and show you this. All right. So we got the charging station. We got this battery charging. This is a nickel light, uh, nickel battery. It's for Thomas's car. It's a two cell lipo. We got another. Uh, I think this is a two cell. Yeah, I think that might be a two cell lipo. Anyways, and I bring my two three cell lipos, uh, and then I got in this bag over there. I got all my little little ones and just extra stuff and paddle tires and stuff. But the problem is I did not bring a pool noodle for this guy. Uh, I have a pool noodle, but I didn't bring one. So we don't know if we're gonna be able to get the hydroplanet across water, but we'll see. And I don't think I've ever showed you guys this on camera. This is Thomas's bandit. It was, uh, it was a rustler, I think it was before, but then he switched it over to a bandit and he painted it and everything. And uh, let's see if I can put the, well, hold on. But yeah, he painted it and everything. So now it looks like a bandit. It's pretty cool. It's definitely like a, it's like a metallic green color. It's pretty awesome. And then we have another one in this cooler. I don't even know what kind this is, but another one right there. There's a four wheel drive slash somewhere right here, but we don't know what it's <laughs> All right, everybody. So we got the paddle tires now on the little car here. We hooked it to a fishing pole because we have no, um, like foam so we hooked the fishing pole up to it i'll show you to the wheelie bar we already tested it. it seems legit so if it falls into that pond sinks we'll be able to fish it out i'll put the body on it though. 
All right, guys, so we're going to send my little uh, Revo. I think it's a 16 and, uh, 1 16th Revo with paddle tires. We're going to try to get it across the water now. Never even tried to hydroplane before, but here we go. Oh, whirl her in. <laughs> I didn't have enough speed. Not enough speed. Hopefully it's still hooked. Oh, we got it. There it is. Oh, oh, flip. Steady. Okay. Wins the game. Too much speed. All right, so I think that battery's dead. We're gonna get the good three S to put in it. All right, here we go. Attempt number two, hydroplaning. A little Revo across the water. I'm nervous, I'll get a full minute. Go, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, it doesn't have, it's like. Go, blop, 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 blop. Me in mud. Oh. All right, so I didn't get a whole lot of footage of what I wanted to do with it going over the pond. Uh, we don't have no speed and it's kind of bumpy, so it didn't work out the best. But I just got done cleaning it up, we took it in the sand pit over here, and uh, yeah, it's still pretty fun. All right, so now we're taking these tires off this one. We're gonna put it on this four wheel drive slash. Hopefully, this one's gonna go across the water. I feel a lot more comfortable because it's not mine going in the water again. It was definitely scary. <laughs> With no foam. The tires, we shouldn't be running those on there, but you know what? It's okay. It should be all right. We got a 3S in it. Slash with some weird 4x4 body on it. It looks super funny, but we're going to see if it'll go across the water. You got the fishing pole? <laughs> all right, we're good. First attempt. Oh, that was easy. That was super easy. <laughs> Can you come back? <laughs> All right, so now they let me drive it. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just don't know how to drive. We'll see, though. Here we go. Ah! I think that those strings pull. Oh, that's going to be a lot of pull. <laughs> So whose fault was it, Blake? Uh, it was mine. I tried to turn it. I tried to turn it and come back. Is it working? We got the fishing pole bringing it back, though, so I don't know if it was my fault exactly. It was technically my fault. But it's coming back. Look at that. The car recovery system. Biggest fish that thing's ever got. Hopefully it doesn't snap off. I signed the waiver, so if it, if it snaps off, it's not, I'm not reliable. Waiver signed. Hey, where's it at? Back. How far is it out there? Daddy. It was all the way across. Hold on. Jesus. So the best thing is to go across that way. Ew. <laughs> there's the bone. All right, so we're trying again. Last time I went out and I turned it and I was trying to bring it back. I didn't have enough throttle on it. So this time we're just going to try to shoot it straight across. I could have just grabbed both strings and something. Here we go. I didn't do that. Ready? Yeah. Go ahead. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I let off. It, I, I think it's just me. It's like, I don't know what I'm saying. It, like, I don't know. Here we go. Oh, what is it going on? I can't have anything nice. I break everything. I got it halfway across the pond and then tried to turn. And then it uh, sunk. And then we tried it a couple more times. And now we don't know what's good with it. Great. All right, y'all, so I tried to hydroplane the RC cars across the water. It didn't work out for me, but it's okay. Uh, I, uh, Johnny, my buddy Johnny, he ended up getting a, uh, he got he got his uh, dad's car go across the water. I couldn't get mine or his across the water. I did halfway, and then um, I got mine about halfway, or his, his dad's about halfway, and then it, I tried to turn and come back, and there was no coming back. 
it just so um as you guys seen there anyway but i'm gonna end the video here and we're gonna start tomorrow's video of me shooting the cannon uh the ar-15 uh cannon so you guys definitely want to check that out so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button give this video a like give it a thumbs up all that good stuff guys and i'll see y'all tomorrow keep on keeping on don't let me bring you down see y'all tomorrow peace